welcome back to my channel i am jasma and today guys i was requested which made my soul and my spirit very much so excited to do a what i eat in a day video and we're gonna do a weekend edition today because as you guys know like during the week i meal prep so it's pretty much the same thing like i'll do meal prep videos like going forward but today is like the weekend like how do I stay on track on the weekend? Like, what's the deets? I know. I know you want to know. Um, but yeah, so let's get started. I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but I have on these leggings from Shein and Baby. These, like, the girls is not lying about the leggings from Shein. Like, I bought some so I could do a review on them. Y'all, I'm gonna just say one word shook. You go to shook. Um, so. We're going to do breakfast first. I'm going to be honest, my breakfast is very, is always very simple because I love breakfast and I can eat the same thing over and over. It's nothing special. The breakfast is nothing special. But before you click off, just know we're getting it all together with lunch, okay? Lunch is going to be good. So um, for breakfast, we're just going to have boiled eggs, chicken breast, um, still cut oats with some strawberries. Oh, and our veggie drink. So yeah, that's what we have. Now typically, I would pan sear some chicken, but we had chicken last night, so I'm just gonna use it because like, I don't want it to go to waste. Cause honey, I'm just keeping it real. Like, I'm gonna eat my leftovers now. I'm not throwing it away. So yeah. Y'all know currently I'm eating in a caloric deficit, which means I'm burning more calories than I'm eating per day because your girl is getting lean for the summer, all right? Summer is quickly, quickly, quickly approaching. And oh my gosh, as you can hear, I'm still kind of congested. I'm on the tail end of my cold and sinus infection. Uh, but yeah, I make sure to keep a very high protein diet because like muscle mass, like throughout this whole lean, like cutting process where I'm leaning out, like I wanna make sure I hold on to mu as much muscle mass as I can while shedding fat. So yeah, I'm, I keep my protein up right now. I wanna say I'm at like, I try to hit between 170 and 180 uh, grams of protein. Now the only thing that differs in my breakfast food and like a, like throughout the day is like depending on what I'm training. If I'm just doing cardio, or if I'm having a resting day, I watch my carbs a little bit more. But if I am doing if I'm doing strength training, then I tend to be a little bit more lenient with my carbs. Like I'm having pancakes that day, syrup on them, like a whole lot of red potatoes. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, today since I'm just doing sprints today, I'm just gonna have some. Um, I can't wait. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna put the video for y'all today. February has been A1 to my body and to my body goals. Like, I changed up some stuff. And, you know, I'm leaning out for the summer. So, like, it's hitting. Like, I'm, 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 I'm very much so excited to share the deets with y'all. But, yeah, let's, I am talking too much. And I'm probably sweating because I've been running around here trying to take pictures for Instagram and stuff because I thought I look cute today. So, yeah, come on. Let's, let's go. I was definitely about to forget. So every single morning when I wake up, I go ahead and drink me a protein shake. That's 30 grams of protein. Boop, boop, boop. I can wash my hands up. I typically end up having two protein shakes a day. One first thing in the morning when I wake up. And then the second one right after I finish working out. So that's 60 grams of protein that like, easy peasy lemon squeezy. You feel me? The rest of it, I typically get from chicken. I eat a lot of chicken, y'all. Like a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of chicken. Uh, but yeah. are on i've cut up the strawberries i'm going to make my uh green my super green drink that i drink every morning because like i told you guys in my previous video like it's all it's not always easy for me to get my uh my vegetables in especially for my morning meal so i have a glass of water h2o filter now check out my um video i'll link it up top for all the supplements that I use throughout the day. I have a new one that I'm gonna show you guys that I use now today. I can't get my words right. Um, but yeah, anyway, super greens first. But I have a video where I explain like what supplements I take and why and the benefits. So here we are. Boop. Super greens. 
This is new, okay, this is new to the Moana drink. I've been using it for about two weeks now. So, this brand is supposed to be really good or like really really um, it's organic like they don't use a whole bunch of processed stuff and artificial flavors and colors and any other stuff um but this is their prebiotics and probiotics for gut health because that is important ladies well for everybody probiotics and prebiotics but it is uh important so so far we have our super greens we have our prebiotics and probiotics and especially since i don't you really uh, use dairy, well, I don't drink dairy or eat dairy anymore, then like, it's hard for me to get like, my probiotics from yogurt. So now I'm going in with some magnesium. And I typically do two little things. Perfect. And then lastly, creatine, because baby, these gains, these muscles, gotta have them. You don't need uh, creatine. Your body naturally makes it, but it does help. Boop. I got this little thing from Amazon. And I just go in. And it mixes it for me. Or you can just use a spoon. I'm not going to hold you. I typically drink this before I drink the rest of my, eat the rest of my meal because I don't just chug it. I don't got time to like a little bit here a little bit there and then it starts to separate i check it good now every blue moon i do indulge in some bacon we keep a pack in the refrigerator but it will literally last us like a month because like i'll eat two or three strips here or there for breakfast but like my breakfast is be the same all right guys so that's breakfast i know I'm not even going to waste too much more time with this. Very basic. Very much so basic. But lunch, I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. I'm excited about lunch. So, I'll see you guys in a few. Welcome back, guys. Okay, so it's lunchtime. Or it's really, like, well after lunchtime. It's 3.48 p.m. But I'm just now getting to lunch. Um, also, same day. But y'all know I couldn't work out and, like, keep my hair looking like it was looking because I just can't do that. I sweat a lot in my head. We are eating chicken again. I promise you dinner won't be chicken. We're going to pan sear it. Basically like a little protein bowl, but it's gonna have some vegetables in there, some healthy fats, you feel me? Some carbs. Let me just show y'all. So here we are, we have some green peppers, some onions, some avocados, uh, some jasmine rice, broccoli. I'm gonna show you guys the seasonings in just a moment. I've already prepped the chicken. If you watched my video from last week, well, I guess just the previous video, I talked to you guys about nutrition and I wanted to show y'all something. So I bought two um, green peppers and I did so because I wanted you guys to see. I got these both from Whole Foods and if you notice there, the PLU number starts with a nine. Nine, four, zero, six, five. So we know that this is organic. This right here started with a four. This is conventional. Look at the difference in the sizes. And I feel like even the color, like this one is a tad bit darker, but like, look, organic, conventionally grown. I don't know. The seasonings we're using today, Flavor Guide, you know, is basically all we use. We They have tons and tons of different seasonings, so check them out if you're in the market for some. But we're going to use uh, garlic and herb, chipotle, fiesta sweet and tangy seasoning. For the rice, I'm going to use my pressure cooker, but because I don't know if a pressure cooker actually cooks rice or if you need a rice maker or they're the same, but I don't feel like Googling either. So I'm just going to stick to my old ways of using a pan. Um, a pot excuse me and hoping that it comes out good i never have good luck with um well not luck but i never have a good because somebody tell me how to cook rice that's all i want to know please because it takes me forever all right so i'm going to cook one cup of rice because i feel like that's gonna make a lot right let me waste some rice everywhere do y'all hear it fall on the floor god dang it I also feel like chicken is like such a good choice because you can always fix it so many different ways. You can pan sear it, you can grill it, you can bake it, you can fry it. Um, 
I guess bull like if you're doing pool chicken kind of want to make pool chicken one day too um and they could always use different seasonings or sauces to like switch it up okay so we're gonna prep the uh vegetables next Um, the rice is still cooking. It's almost done. It has about five more minutes. I hope and believe the broccoli onions and peppers are all cut up. I've already cut on the, the uh, Stove for the chicken. So I'm about to put that in once it's warm enough. And I'm going to saute the Vegetables <laughs> product now unfortunately both avocados weren't good there was some brown in there and I don't do it I don't do that I need it for it to all be green so typically I will put a avocado half of an avocado or like a third of an avocado in the bowl as well but this is what we got and dinner we got a little seafood in the mix all right so hold tight and i'll be back in a few all right so i'm finally back for dinner it's a very late dinner it's 8 20 which of course i don't want to normally like to eat this late but i'll probably be up pretty late because it's the weekend right but we are prepping salmon zucchini and some red potatoes we're gonna bake the potatoes um i haven't decided what i'm going what, what i'm going to saute the zucchini or put it in the oven as well and then we're gonna Cut the salmon up into salmon bites and put those into the air fryer, which I haven't used in forever. But y'all, let me tell you, the last meal I showed you guys, like the little bowl with rice and chicken and stuff, it slapped. You know how it slapped? But what did you say when you ate it? That don't taste good. <laughs> and he not just saying that for the camera, like he literally looked at me and was like, hey Bubba, you did your thing. And I was like, wow. I did. It tastes so clean, y'all, and like just so fresh. I didn't put any type of butter or anything in the rice. I know you're probably like, ew, ew, tomato, tomato. But um, you can add a dressing to make it a little saucier or something. But the chicken was juicy. Like it was good. It was really clean. I'm going to prep and cook the um, potatoes first because they're going to take the longest. They take about 30 minutes in the oven. 25. These are probably be 25 minutes because they're smaller. They're red potatoes. They're probably, um, you know, take the longest time. So I'm going to put them in first and then get started on the zucchini and the salmon. <laughs> I just finished cooking dinner um as you guys saw we have the salmon which came out really really good in the air fryer the potatoes and i did cook the zucchini on the stove top just to save on time this literally took 40 minutes that was it breakfast and lunch both probably took about 20 minutes too so like these are really simple meals are really easy but i'm going to show you guys the finished product here we are yum 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 
I don't know about you, but I'm ready to dig in like I'm ready to go eat now. I want to thank you guys for tuning in for what I eat in a day weekend edition. Um yeah, that's pretty much it. Please let me know what other videos you guys would like to see and I'll see you next time. I